Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Low Carb Cocktails. Today's video is gonna be pretty neat. I've been getting a lot of questions from friends and subscribers um, and viewers um, on how to get started or how did I get started, what's needed. So this video is all about how to set up your home bar, whether it be full on out with bartender gear and tools and stuff like that, or on a budget. And that's how I got started, on a really tight budget. And over time, I built my tool chest um, to get the things that I have now. So we're gonna kind of go over how to set this up yourself, comparison of what a bartender would use and what everyday item you probably already have in your kitchen or how to get something pretty cheap to get your home bar rolling. Now, before I get started, came across an, another low carb YouTuber, wonderful lady Erica, and her YouTube channel is Time to Shrink. Let me get that right. Um, Yes, time to shrink. Great uh, keto recipes, um, wonderful YouTube channel. Um, she's just recently started putting some cocktail videos out, kind of how I found her. And um, so I'm actually doing a collaboration with her coming up in a few weeks on some of our tiki drinks that I got coming. That's right, you heard me correct. Tiki season is here. I've got a lot of rum to play with. Um, some mixers to show you how to make and those videos will be coming out real soon. But let's go ahead and get started on how to set up your home bar on a budget. So first thing you're gonna need to make a cocktail is something to shake it in or stir it in. Now, here is a Boston shaker. Boston shaker is two cups. It could be a pint glass and a tall metal glass or I like the two metal tins in, uh, instead of the glass and tin. I don't trust myself and one day I'm gonna break the glass and I'm gonna end up swallowing some broken glass instead of ice and that just scares the shit out of me. So, and I know how clumsy I am and I know that's gonna happen. So, I stay with the two tin shakers myself. Now, you could get what's called a cobbler shaker and what that is, that's what you kind of see in most uh, home kits. It's the large tin with the little domey top and a little cap on top of it. Um, I started with one of those also. What I don't like about those is when you start putting ice and you start shaking, that metal contracts and it locks that top dome lid on really tight so it's hard to get off. So it's just a little more time consuming if you're making more than one drink. So that's kind of why I like the Boston Shaker. Now, before I had this, because I started shooting before I had this, sort of YouTube and I started cocktail um, on Instagram before I had this. So before I had that, had a mason jar. Just a mason jar. This is what I used for a very long time before I started taking this serious, because I dabbled at home a little bit, but before I decided to, you know, let's step out of the box, let's just go show people how to truly drink keto and low carb friendly cocktails. Um, I was using a mason jar. So if you don't have a cocktail shaker, you may have a mason jar. If you live in the South like I do, I promise you, you've got a mason jar. If not, they're not very expensive at all. Now, the next thing you're gonna need is a cocktail strainer. This is called a Hawthorne strainer. Um, it's a little disc and you may have seen some other ones kind of like this, has a little handle on it and it's got a spring. There's different size springs, different size handles. Um, I like this one. This is from this is uh, from Pina, um, and it's got a little thumb, a little rubber thumb or finger rest on it. it helps keep traction. Really like this one. Um, so take a check out this one if you can. But this is your common standard one, cheap one. I think this is like five bucks, if that much. Comes with a lot of cocktail kits. Now, let's say you're using a mason jar and you don't have strainers yet. You have the cap for your mason jar. You just pop the little lid out, put your ring aside. And after you shake your drink, what you do is you'll pull the lid back. So slide it back a little bit and that'll still hold the ice and you'll allow your drink to come out. Or if you just wanna do a dump and pour, to hell with the strainers, that's good too. But as far as straining a cocktail, like you would do a cocktail that's served up, is I use just a lid. Again, again just slide that lid back about a quarter inch all your liquid will come out and your ice will stay in here. So this, for a while, served as my cocktail shaker and my strainer. So, so far, the mason jar has replaced all of this. The next thing 
You're gonna need something to measure. If you want a really tasty cocktail and you want it consistent every time you drink it, it tastes the same every time you want to measure. Uh, this is, I think, by far my favorite jigger uh, because it measures everything from a quarter ounce all the way up to two ounces. And there's little lines on the inside. Like this one is a quarter ounce, a half ounce, three quarter ounce, and if you go, which is called a meniscus, so if you have it just rounded over the top of it, that's one full ounce. And on the inside, this size, it goes from one ounce, one and a half, uh, to two ounces. Again, two ounces right over that meniscus. Now they have some other jiggers that don't have the little rolled edges. This one is from Top Shelf. And I'm gonna leave a link for a lot of this stuff in the description below. It is an affiliate link on Amazon, so it helps me out if you buy it from there. But the other ones that don't have this little rolled metal edge, they're very inconsistent because you, you, if you hit to the top of the edge, that's not truly a full two ounce pour. So you kind of want to make sure you have something like this. Now, you don't have a jigger, not a problem. These little bitty measuring cups, got this at Walmart for like 98 cents. And these are really good because this measures from everywhere from a half ounce all the way on up to two ounces. So this is a great thing just to have. It's, you know, it has all but I think two of these measurements on it. Uh, and it's a great little thing. Uh, the OXO brands or OXO brands, that's another, you'll see a lot of people using those on um, some little home cocktail channels like I have here. But uh, this is a super easy thing to get, super cheap. So, so far we're here and we replace all of this. So, mason jar, couple of bucks, 98 cents. So for less than $5, you've covered all of this gear. So let's talk about the next thing. Let's say you want a martini. Good classic drinks like a martini or a Negroni or a Manhattan, those are stirred drinks. And you wanna stir a drink when you don't have fruit juices in it. So if you just got spirit and spirit and liquor and liquor, because you know that's all a martini is, liquor plus liquor. And some people leave out one of the liquors, so it's just a whole lot of the same liquor, which is usually vodka and, um, where are we at? Dry vermouth. Vodka, dry vermouth, you have a martini. So since there's no juices in it, you're going just straight liquor, um, you wanna go ahead and stir that. This is a fancy mixing glass. And with a fancy mixing glass, you'll use a fancy mixing spoon. So it's really not that fancy. So now, don't have that. Again, in the South, you get a really big mason jar. And now we're substitute that. And you know, if you have a plastic spoon that you use in your kitchen or the long, long plastic spoons or wooden spoons, you use that. Let's call it a wooden spoon because we're gonna come back to a wooden spoon in a minute. So wooden spoon, two mason jars. So we're still under 10 bucks and we've replaced all of this. Oh, one second. Mm, that's so good, that's so good. Oh, cool blue blueberry infused vodka. Watch out for some videos on this stuff. This is really good. It's um, blueberry infused and then redistilled. So there's no sugar. The blueberry flavor is amazing. But uh, there'll be some videos on that coming out after tiki season. So let's keep on going. Now, you may or may not have a small fine mesh strainer. If not, I picked this up from at the dollar store, like Dollar Tree for like a dollar and uh, very cheap. And you'll use this if you're doing cocktails served up like a daiquiri that you wanna take the ice chips out that broke up during your shake. So you want just that liquor with no extra dilution of the ice chips floating around or just makes it for a nicer presentation. You use a fine mesh strainer, again, dollar store. I'll put that in the middle because that can be used both sides. Next, muddler. Muddler, and they got a whole bunch of different kinds of muddler. I got this one at the kitchen collection, you know, the little outlet kitchen store, uh, which I believe is going out of business now, but you can still get these on Amazon for like mm, three to five bucks. I think I paid $2.97 for this cherry wood one or hard one, I don't know, whatever they claim it is. It's wood and it smashes fruit and herbs. And that's what you can use a muddler for. Smashing fruit, smashing herbs that'll be mixing into your cocktails. Now, you don't have this, Back to that wooden spoon I was telling you about. You can use the back of a wooden spoon and do the same thing. But I did find something a little bit easier than the back of a wooden spoon. 
And that was this rubber kit, oh yeah, rubber Christmas and Christmas tree, a rubber Christmas spatula that I had, a wooden handle, and it's got a nice little flat end. And that does the same thing. Smashy, 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 does the same thing. I think again, maybe Walmart, a dollar, maybe dollar 97, three bucks. So again, we're still pushing right under that $10 price range. And right here, I'm looking at about, off the top of my head, uh, I think this was 15, 15, um, I think that was 20. So we're, not $10, <laughs> not $10. So one of my favorite investments that I got, just cause it's fun to smash shit. You have a bad day at work, you just wanna come home and smash some shit. So a lot of drinks call for crushed ice. This is a Lewis bag and an ice mallet. What's different from a wooden hammer and an ice mallet? About, about 15 bucks. <laughs> That's really about it. So this is an ice mallet in a Lewis bag. You put ice in here and uh, you'll just like just go to town, get your frustrations out, you know, have a little bit of fun while you're making your drinks. Don't have that, don't want to invest in, you know, 20 bucks or so. Pretty sure you have a kitchen towel and a rolling pin. You can do the same thing with a clean kitchen towel. Put your, holy shit. I guess I shouldn't put a rolling pin facing that direction. Put your ice in your kitchen towel, beat the shit out of it, save yourself 20 bucks that you probably already have this in your house. So we're not even gonna say this cost anything because you probably already got this. That was free. So again, we're still under 10 bucks and this is push in 50. So now a couple of little things that you'll be going back and forth with that you'll have probably already at home. Um, and if you don't, it's a citrus juicer. These again are cheap. I wanna say I got this one at Walmart for like five bucks. So let's jump up our price point to 15, but that also jumps this price point up to another $5 as well. Last couple of things, probably have a vegetable peeler for peeling your citrus uh, peels for a zest and garnishes. We'll call that free. You probably already got one. Kitchen knife, a little paring knife, just to cut your citrus, cut your limes, cut everything you're doing. Call that free, because you probably already got this. Measuring spoons, probably already got them, so we're gonna say free. And what else I got down here? That's really it. This is everything you need to get yourself going with a, a low carb or full on carb home bar. So this is everything you're gonna need to get your home bar started. Like I said, for under 20 bucks, you can get all this stuff here and have yourself a drink. You could spend 50 or so more dollars and get all of this stuff here. It's up to you. Now, does this make it a, a little bit easier? Not really. Um, does this make it more fun and make you feel like you know what the hell you're doing? It does for me. So this is kind of how you get your bar set up on a budget, like I said, under 20 bucks, big ass mason jar, regular mason jar, a 97 cents measuring cup, wooden spatula, rolling pin, kitchen towel, vegetable peeler, measuring spoons, and a knife. You probably already have all of this stuff. And like I say, a wooden spoon, if not, you probably have one of those. So really the only thing you're buying that you absolutely are gonna need is something to mix it in and something to measure it in. This is not necessary. It's fancy, but it's not necessary. This is, you know, I would kind of say it's necessary because you really should be using fresh juices. It just makes everything taste better. But uh, where am I at? Where am I at? Here. You could use concentrate. Eh, that same amount of carbs in a fresh lemon juice and a concentrated lemon juice. Limes. Concentrated lime juice will save you a half a gram of carbs per ounce. That's really about it. Um, so let me see, make sure I got everything covered. Shake it, measure it, shake it, and you'll need a glass. Or hell, a plastic solo cup, that works too. All right guys, so that's it. I'm gonna get out of here. And don't forget, I have 
Uh, collaboration coming up uh, pretty soon, like I mentioned in the front of the video. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. And the most important thing, Tiki season is here. We're gonna have Tiki cocktails plus mixers and syrups that you're gonna need to make those cocktails. All right guys, if you like the content I'm putting out and you were in a position to support me, I would really appreciate that. There'll be a link to my Patreon page below in the description, along with links for all of this gear here. Um, you can buy this in a set. You can buy it individually like I did. What I did purchase my stuff individually because I wanted a specific shaker. I wanted a specific strainer. I wanted a specific this or that. So I did purchase it separately and that does cost a little bit more, but you could get all this in a kit for under, for under, I don't know, 50, 45 bucks, as low as 30, depending on what y'all have in your kit. So guys, that's it. Uh, make sure you check the description below, uh, check out those links. And uh, guys, that's it. Uh, y'all have a great day because um, I'll have a great day too. See y'all later.